Hey there, Cancerians. Welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot Channel. All right, so Cancers, let's get started on your reading. Um, I was feeling some. I was feeling like the energy Cancers around being popular or being famous. I don't know if that's you or if that's someone that you're dealing with, but I'm picking up like a popular energy, a famous energy, being known for some sort of work that someone does. But what I am picking up around you is that I do feel as though some of you are going to find that a lot of people are going to be interested in you, talking to you. And I'm not talking about on um, just a romantic level. I just feel like people are going to be speaking to you, smiling at you. Like you're going to, like complete strangers are going to be smiling at you, saying hello to you. Because there's something about your energy that just feels like you they, they see you as someone that's nice, kind, and sweet, and they want to speak to you. I don't know, but I'm getting here like you're going to have strangers just walking up to you saying hi for whatever reason. Again, yeah, see, work. I don't feel like this is you, though, this energy right here. I feel like there's someone connected to you who does work that matters. They do so, not to say that, you know, people don't do work that matters, but I just feel like they're the work that this person does. It, it feels like it's something on a uh, grand level, but it also feels covert too. Like someone keeps quiet about it or they're humble about the work that they do. It's like a big deal. Okay, we got, yeah, see the six of wands. Someone is successful. See the people rallying around on their high horse? Yeah, this is someone, but I don't feel like this is someone that has a, like a, a big ego because of the work that they do. They actually feel good about the work that they do because of the people that they get to help. This is someone that's coming back to you. Yeah, see, ten pentacles. I also, like I told you, I feel like someone has money, but I don't feel like they showcase it because it's in this like, yeah, see the lovers. Yeah, I don't feel like this is someone that showcases their money, but they have a lot of it. A lot of savings, a lot of money. But they don't live at their means. Like you wouldn't, again, and I did a reading previously where that energy was coming in. See, the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. They don't, as I'm saying, they don't live like the Queen of Pentacles upright. They live very frugal. They live beneath their means. But they have a lot of money. See, the High Priestess, it's a secret. They keep quiet about it. Queen of Cups is coming in. This is you. See, the Page of Pentacles. This is the King of Cups. See, this is what I'm saying. This is the lovers, the two of you. This is a spiritual couple, a soulmate connection. This couple is very healing and loving. This is true love. And see, the Page of Pentacles, they come across like a page. But there's they're hiding... That they're really this, they got this 10 pentacles. They have a lot of money, but they show up like a page. I feel like this is someone, I, I'm picking up something to do with stones, like jewelry though. I, don't, I feel like this person may be looking at stones, looking at jewelry, rings. Hmm. Okay, this is a deep couple. This is a deep connection with this king and queen of cups coming through. Let me see. What else can you tell me about this couple? This is you and someone else. It's unfolding. It says here, you close a chapter in your life. However, the story is not over. Didn't I say they're coming back? Because you thought the chapter was closed. It's not over with. This person is coming back. Give it time to unfold and see it through the end, Cancer. Because I feel like you've turned your back on this person. But they, they're sitting here thinking, what can I do to make it up to you? 
because I feel like there was some sort of disappointment, some sort of letdown. We got divine timing and we got lessons. So someone is learning some lessons. It says have patience as nothing can occur until the conditions are completely ready. Trust in divine timing because someone is learning lessons. You are learning spiritual lessons. That's a, say, a spiritual couple. King and Queen of Cups are learning spiritual lessons that will assist you in your journey to spiritual growth. Again, be patient with yourself. Be patient. Patience is needed. Because look, you're both star seeds. Both of you. Both of you have spiritual gifts. Spiritual couple with spiritual gifts. It says your essence is magical. See? Appearing in multiple bodies. Lifetime and dimensions. Believe in your magic. Both of you are star seeds. Both of you are magic. See this connection. Look at that. Just look at this card, right? Look at the energy. It says you will sense an energetic connection with someone. Trust it. Their company will bring many blessings. This person's company will bring you many blessings. Let's see. Tell me about this person. And then I'm going to look at your energy. Tell me about this person. Okay. We got here the Ace of Wands. Something is starting. Cracked open. This person has been cracked open. That's what I'm getting. The full card. See, look. Ready to take a risk. This person is really attracted to you, too. They find you to be very attractive. And look, here's the Eight of Cups. And then the Eight of Cups right there in reverse. Look, two different decks. Eight of Cups. One is in reverse. This one was in reverse. See, you turned your back on them. But they're coming back. See, upright, walking away, too. Both of you walking away. But they're coming back to you. They're willing to risk it all. To express something to you. Whoever this person is. Like I said. I feel like this is someone that's very attracted to you. I want to tell you guys this. I feel like they were attached to someone that was very stuck up. I'm beginning here energy around. Someone connected to them. Here is this six of wands again. Wow. Whoever, I'm going to tell you. This person is very attractive. They're very attractive. And I feel like deep down, this is a good person that got lost. They want to do what's right. And yeah, the Ten Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's some hesitation with coming towards you. They've ended it with someone. And that's why I said, like, whoever they ended it with, I feel like this was someone that was very stuck up. I'm going to hear like a snooty person. Here comes the high priestess again. Spiritual. Both of you see the king of cups and queen of cups. Both are high priestess. Both of you are spiritual. Both of you have spiritual gifts. Both of you are tapped into the divine. Both of you are star seeds. This person cannot stop thinking about you. But they, they think that you like to say to yourself, so they keep their distance. They're trying to study you. This person is trying to study you and trying to understand you. I feel like this person thinks about having a family with you. They see themselves as being able to have a family with you. But they feel like you are pushing them away. I'm also seeing here talking to someone. Like they talk to a friend about you. Yeah, see, they're looking to get some sort of advice because they feel lost. There's someone that they go to for some sort of advice, some sort of wisdom. And I'm seeing here the heart chakra is just like beaming when it comes to you. They're trying to understand you. It's like they've never seen someone like you. In their mind, you are fascinating. You are one of a kind. And you are just like they are, though. And I feel like the reason why they think you're one of a kind is that because even who they are, they felt like they were alone in this world with that hermit. 
there was no one that was spiritual like them or thought like them with this king of swords. There is no one that think like me. There is no one that's spiritual like me until you. Until you. And that's what's fascinating to them. I feel like this person is trying to read you. Trying to understand you. Because there's something about you not chasing them. There's something about you not being all in their face that they like. And remember I told, I started out telling you guys, see, you uplift them. You uplift them. I feel like this person is, is used to being looked at as the prize with that six of wands on top of a high horse. Because I feel like other people that they have dated, they, they felt lucky to be with them. But now the shoe has flipped. Whereas this person feels like they would be lucky to be with you. This is someone that worships you. They, they, this is someone that's going to call you goddess. Or think of you as some sort of like god to them. Goddess, god. You know, I'm using it interchangeable. But I'm getting here fantasizing about you. And, and them seeing you as they think that you don't care. And you're in your own world. And they like that though. They like that you're like they don't see you as someone messy or gossipy or in other people's business. They see you focused on yourself. And that's what you are. Even right here at the Queen of Cups. Her look at her back. When it comes to this person, she's not looking back at this King of Cups. She's focusing on all of her cups, all of her wishes, all of what she wants to have happen in her life. She's focusing on her cup. And this person finds that admirable. But they also see you as someone mysterious too. It's like I want to get to know you. I want to get to understand you. I need more information. That's what I'm getting here. This person's like I need more information about you. Who are you? You're a star seed like them. That's what I'm saying. That's why they find you so fascinating. Because they've never met someone like them. I feel like there's lessons at hand for the both of you. Not just them, but also for you too. Because I'm seeing, I thought I saw the, yeah, we got the book right here. And then there's a book right here. Someone may be doing a lot of reading and a lot of studying. I mean, not just spiritual lessons, but I also feel like in the physical realm, someone has been reading and studying. Again, because it feels like studying and, and just focusing on one's own life to make it better. And I feel like that's what you've been determined to do. You've been determined to succeed against all odds. And this cloud in the background, this is making me feel like some sort of breakthrough that's coming your way. Yeah, this person is really intent on, on you. Like, they, they just, I mean, I don't know. They see you as someone magical. Like, they feel, this person feels like they've never met someone or seen anyone like you before. Like, they're, they're mesmerized by you. But it's like, who are you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, this connection for them, it's like, they can't stop thinking about you. They're like, who are you? I've never seen or met anyone like you. They are fascinated by you. And I feel like this person wants to know more. Ooh, they fantasize about you. There's a, I feel like they have a poker face. They come across like they're not interested in you. Because look at this. I want to get freaky with you. That's what this card says. See, they come across like, look at that face, mean mugging. They may have like a resting, mean, mugging type of face. So to you, you may be thinking, oh, they're not interested in me. Yes, they are. Yes, they are interested. They're very much so interested. They just know how to hide it good. That King of Swords has a poker face. They know how to hide it. This person is very much so interested in you. They want to know about mu as much as possible. And I told you, they're talking about you to someone. They're trying to get some sort of advice. Because I feel like approaching you. Yeah, look at here, getting the boot. So something must have went down between the two of you at some point. Because I'm seeing them talking to someone. Hmm. 
let's see yeah there's another person like I was telling you guys there was I feel like they were dealing with someone that was very stuck up I'm not it was a bad ending though but I feel like this person resurfaces whoever they were dealing with I feel like they come back but I feel like they come back to try to tempt them sexually See, look at here. I want to have some fun with you. Yeah, this is not them with you. This is that part. Because look what I was talking about. Yeah, look what I was talking about. I feel like whoever this person is that I was telling you that they had this bad ending with, I feel like that person comes around to try to tempt them sexually to see if they can still get them to be intimate with them. But with this King of Swords energy, I feel like with that sword and this shield on, I feel like they turned them down. And because they were turned down, I feel like this person wants to know, well, what are you doing? Because you don't, you, you didn't used to turn me down. It's over with. They didn't use to turn this person down. And because of that, it's caught their interest to want to know, well, who are you interested in? They're interested in you. They're interested in you, Cancers. See, look, studying. Somebody, this person could be in school or they could read. They could be studying for some sort of position or promotion at work. But either if you know you're not doing it, they're definitely doing it then. Because I told you the books, the books, and here it is again. This person is definitely studying for work. But I also feel like studying you as well. They study you as well. We got here car issues, enjoying the drama, unable to concentrate because they can't stop thinking about you. I feel like this person calls them and I feel like they, again, trying to tempt them. So they make up stuff and I feel like they make up stuff and call this person and say, hey, I'm having car issues. Can you come take me here? And then when they go pick them up, because they got into a fight, either car issues or whatever. This person that they were, had this bad ending with, even though it's over with, they called them because they needed help. And when they got them, there was an argument that took place. Because I feel like there was deception just to get them there so that they could tempt them sexually. Yeah, this person reads. If they're not studying, they definitely read. But, but it looks like both of you do. You see? But look, they're unable to concentrate. Somebody is unable to concentrate. And I feel like um, someone goes to sleep and dream about the other one. Yeah, look, goals and accomplishment. Someone is definitely studying for some sort of exam when it comes to their work. They're looking to get some sort of promotion. Why am I picking up like I'm picking up like a, a police officer or something like somebody in. Remember, I told you someone does something that they're really good at, something that they're successful at. I feel like a promotion is coming, but I feel like they're studying to take some sort of test to get promoted or to get into some sort of like academy or something. I don't know. It just feels like. Because the king of swords, this could be like maybe like the law, the judicial system, something around that type of energy that I'm getting here. Civil servant, keeping some sort of law and order. And I feel like having studied for it or studying to get some sort of new position. And I'm seeing them getting it also. And so, but why they're studying, they can't, they have a hard time concentrating because they're constantly thinking about you. You both are. You both are. Yep. Te te telepathy. That's that king and queen of cups. There's telepathy between the two of you. Star seeds. Look, see, broken hearted. Something happened. So now that you two are separated and you're not communicating, I feel like this person wants to know where they stand with you without coming to you, though. They want, see, feeling lazy. See, not coming to you. They want to know. They're, they're trying to read your energy because they don't know where they're staying. And the thing about it is, you, <laughs> you, remember I told you, they're, not, they're used to being chased. I told you this person's attractive. There's something about their hair, too. And something about their shoulders, their chest. They're very attractive. I feel like they have, like, really good posture. 
voice, the way that they speak. Very powerful. They speak with authority. I feel like this is someone, like I said, you they don't show you how they feel, but they feel deep. Very, very deep. I don't feel like they're really good at communicating their feelings because they're not used to these types of feelings that they have. And like I said, they're hurting, which is something that uh, I feel like they're not used to in this way. And they want to come towards you. However, they want to know where they stand. They want to know what you think about them. They want to know how you're going to react because they feel like you don't care. They can't read you. Do you care? Do you not care? Like, oh, how are you feeling about me? Because you look like you're doing fine without me. <laughs> that's what they're trying. That's what they see. They're like, you look like you're doing fine without me. And they're trying to understand it. You seem so unbothered. <laughs> While I'm over here broken hearted. They're broken hearted and you seem so unbothered. We got here. Yeah, see, cold. <laughs> Winter time. So this cold between the two of you. Something happened at some point, right? There's some sort of like frozen energy. And we see in the summertime though. So we're we're dealing with winter energy in the summer season. Or warm season. So see someone will spill the beans. Someone was supposed to say, that's what I'm saying. They're ready to tell you something. They're ready to talk to you. However, they want to know something. They want to know something about you before they talk to you. Like, is it safe to approach you? See, making amends. They, there's been some sort of shift in their perspective. And they're ready to make amends. I, see, I still have strong feelings for you. And see, look at here. Love your independence. <laughs> I told you. See, do you care? <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. That's what they're trying to understand. Like, how you, how you still looking good? <laughs> right? Look at here. Look at this is you, honey. And this is the, like, look at you. Gotcha. You looking good. You smiling. You got flowers all around your necklace. You got all of these cups just, like, just loving it. And they like, I'm over here broken heart. I'm over here broken heart. You this free spirit not giving a damn. <laughs> and they like, I want to tell you my feelings. That king of cups. The king of swords wants to talk to you about that king of cups energy that they're in. I'm ready to make a sense. I still have feelings for you. But I don't understand what you're doing. With that love your independence in reverse. I feel like they're not used to someone being in that energy. Like I said. It's in reverse. They're not, even though they like that about you, it, it makes them like wonder about you and want to know more about you, but it's not something that they're used to. They're trying to like really read into it. I'm used to being chased. I'm used to, you know, people coming after me, but you're different. You over here unbothered while I'm over here broken hearted. Yeah, I thought about you today, but they won't say it. They think about you every day. This person thinks about you every day. They go to sleep thinking about you. They wake up. They wake. They cancer. This person wakes up and you are on their mind. This person also look trying to score. They they. I feel like they watch you. They they like you're behind or they watch you from behind. And they fantasize about sleeping with you. But again, you would never know. The king of swords. This person's face acts like, it looks like, they probably, you may think this person don't even like you. You may think, or, or you don't know the depths of how much they like you. Because they hide it so well. See, I told you, look, reminded of you every other day. See, going to sleep, <laughs> going to sleep, thinking about you. I told you, right? See, thinking about you. I'm reminded of you every other day. I go to sleep thinking about you. <sighs> okay, let's see. I'm going to pull for your energy in just a sec. Oh, no, here it is. Sorry, <laughs> this is your energy. <laughs> Look, and this is that what I've been telling you guys. Sorry, I'm busy watering my plants. But look, being happy, good things are coming. I'm happy. I'm doing good. I'm busy. I'm focusing on me and my life. 
I'm busy watering my plants. And that's attractive to them though. They like that. It makes them even more fascinated by you. It makes them even more fascinated. You busy doing your own thing. Anything else? We got here family stress. Crush in my head again. You're in their head crushing on you. Um, there's some family issues in their head. I'm seeing too. I don't. I feel like there's the family stress that they're experiencing has to do with some talk that they were uh, that were fed into them when they were younger. You see here, like there's some sort of like people in their ear, and I feel like that critic. There's like some sort of like negative critic in their mind that stems from their family. So maybe someone told them that they weren't good enough or I don't know. There was just some sort of like negative talk in their mind. And I feel like that's where that apprehension comes from. Feeling like they're not worthy of someone like you. Someone made them feel um, very down. I also do feel like though that there is something going on with where this person is like the one in the family that people like cling to. And I feel like they've become numb to it. They've become a robot to it. Because I feel like they always get called for some sort of family. Like someone in the family may call to borrow money for them or call to get them to help them with stuff. It's like they're the go-to person. And I feel like they're tired of it though. This person is someone that's, that serves. I feel like I'm getting here a service energy. See, and as I picked up this next deck, I saw a monster in law. So there's something going on around their mother. I feel like their mother is needy. And I also feel like there's some sort of, I feel like the mother clings to them. Yeah, see, hold your peace. Because I feel like their family is stressing them out. And so again, I feel like they, um, they may have a hard time saying no and they revert back to the child them. See, you are their happy place. I feel like it's like an escape for them. They see you because they got stress in the in the world, stress in their family. But when it comes to you, you give them some sort of calm. You give them some sort of peace. You make them feel good. That's why they think about you to escape from the stress of the world. See, it's your light. Your light tracks it all. Your light for them attracts it all. Tell me about cancers. Hi, ooh, hyped up. Look, breakup glow. I, <laughs> you are, listen. You hyped up on love, but I feel like this is self love. You are hyped up on love, self-love, focusing on yourself. You may be dressing cute. again. And I, if I didn't say this, I'm saying it again. I feel like people are going to be speaking to you. Did I not mention, if I'm not mistaken, about how you're going to find people just walking up to you saying hello, smiling at you because, it's, because of your light and because you glowed up. But I feel like this glow up came at, at the result of a breakup. I feel like cancers, when someone hurt you or broke your heart, you took that energy and started focusing on yourself. That's nice. Self-love. I'm feeling lonely again. Cancers. So it's like, yeah, I took that and started focusing on myself, but it's not all that I want. I do want companionship. You do want it. You do want it, and the, as you should. You're the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups love love. She has a lot of love to give, and she loves love. So does the King of Cups. But this King of Swords isn't ready to put their heart out there just yet. They need to know where they stand with you. We got. I told you. See, look at that. That dark feminine energy. That dark feminine energy. There's someone that I feel like that's a dark feminine energy attached to them. And this dark feminine energy testing. Testing. I told you, they try to test them to see if they can still get them to be intimate with them. That's what this dark feminine energy does. They try to test this king of swords. But look at here. Look with a sword. It's like I'm not backing down. Boundary has been set. You cannot tempt me. I'm not interested. See, the rival. 
the rival knows about you too. And I feel like this rival is like I told you, stuck up. Look at the look at the face. This is a, the, this person is very stuck up. See, never uses protection. I feel like this person was trying to test them to get them to sleep with them, but they were going to get them to sleep with them without protection because I feel like they wanted to trap them. But I I told you they said no, and they were crying. They were crying about it, mad, because they're not used to this no. They're not used to this boundary. See, can't stay mad at you. What happened with you guys? I feel like this is you not being able to stay mad at them, though. Because it's like you're starting, you, you put that energy into focusing on yourself, but you're still lonely. I thought like this is like a battle of the wheels. It's like for them, though. I need to know where I stand with you before I approach you. And for you, I'm not going to approach you even though <laughs> even though I can't stay mad at you and I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm not going to approach you first. Uh, yeah, see, back and forth. There's like this back and forth energy. And there's a missing piece. See, skip birth control. Somebody was trying to get pregnant. They were trying to they were trying to get pregnant. They were not taking their birth control. And see, they wanted them to sleep with them and not use protection. Yeah, because they're still in love. This dark feminine energy is still in love. Tell me more about this missing piece. I feel like you're missing something around this connection that needs to be told. What is this missing piece that Cancer needs to know about? A uh, sneaky link. Lock change. That's what you need to know about. Whoever that this was never a um someone that they took serious. This was a sneaky leak of friends with benefits. They were never the one. But this person was in love with them. What you need to know is they lock the door on that person. They changed the lock. Lock them out. You cannot get in. That's what you need to know. They were never their person. They were never the one to them. All right. So let's see what is going to come up next when it comes to cancer and this person. What's going to happen? They're coming in. That's what's going to happen. And look, the king of pentacles. I told you this person got money. Remember, we saw with the page of pentacles. I told you um, they come across. Where is that page? Yes, yeah, see, page of pentacles. They come across like a page. But look. They're really a king of pentacles. They don't show it. You can't see it. They hide it. It's covered up. They are really a king, but they show up like a page. They have money. You don't know this. Blindfold. You don't know that this person is received. Here's the king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. You don't know this and they want you to be their queen. See, I told you seven of swords is hidden. They're hiding that they're a king. They're hiding their wealth. They don't put it out there. Because I feel like this, the reason why, I feel like with that ten swords, people used them in the past for financial reasons. We saw the ten of swords. They've had some painful endings and experienced losses. So this person keeps that they have this money. They keep it kind of covered up. They keep it um, locked down. See, I told you, look at the money around them. Because they're generous. People want handouts from them. They always want handouts. And they were giving, 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 giving. But they were dealing with some shysty people. So they said, I'm not going to let people know that I really got money. And look, see, here comes you. They want to spend that money on you, though. Get the King of Cups. They see you as their star. They see you as their blessing. As their dream and wish come true. They feel like it was fate when they met you. That there was no coincidence. That they were met. That look at how he's looking at her. Mesmerized. He's looking at her. Mesmerized. Who are you? You must be an angel. You must be sent to me. Overflow of love. Love at first sight. When I first met you. I had this love for you. Lovers. I knew you were the one for me. Let me give a message. I'm going to let them tell you. What do they want cancers to know? Let's get a message. What does this person want cancers to know? I need time alone to heal my wound. 
my wounds and figure out my life. See, painful endings. They've gone through something. That's where that hesitancy comes through. And I told you that child, that mind, some, someone been in their head, they still have negative talk in their head. That stems from their childhood. I fear you don't feel the same for me and that you might screw me over because they've been screwed over. That's why they don't tell people they got money because they've been screwed over and they fear. That's what I'm saying. They need to know how you feel about them before they opened up. They feel as heaven sense, but they just need some sort of sign from you that it, it that you feel the same way. It says, please give me another chance to make things right between us. And it says, I have plans to make it all up to you. Just wait. And look at this under our energy. I've been burying my pain with stuff that's not good for me. I don't blame you for being upset with me. I would too. I'm upset with myself all the time. Let's get two more. I, I do want to marry you when the time feels right. You won't see it coming either. And look, life hasn't always been good to me, my love. I've had a pretty, I've had it pretty rough. I'm just trying to hold on. All right. Yep, I don't feel worthy. After messing it up, I don't feel worthy of you. So I feel like in time, because I saw the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like once, but if this person has some sort of sign, I feel like they will make that initiative, like some sort of sign that you will be receptive of them and won't reject them. But then again, they're also in their head, not feeling worthy of you, but also feeling guilty too, because they know they messed it up. There's a lot on their mind, but I feel like ultimately this person is like, I just need some sort of sign before I approach you. <laughs> I just need some sort of sign before I approach you and know that you are just not so completely done with me. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next reading. Bye.